Good morning, everyone. This is Abby here. Looking forward to having a great class together. I noticed that the class is fully booked, so hopefully everybody who used their ticket to join the class is able to do so. Come on in when you're ready, and we'll get started on our conversation, okay? This is a conversation class for intermediate and advanced students. We have a list of questions that we're going to look at together and discuss as a group, so I'm excited to hear your opinions, your ideas. Should be lots of fun. Who do we have here? Igor! Yes, so... Woo! My volume! <laughs> what too loud? Ah, uh, too much? No, okay. mine. My volume. My volume, not uh, yours. Ah, your one. Okay, okay. okay. Igor, where are you from? I'm from Israel, and oh. uh, I'm joined to join the class. Awesome! Thank you for coming. I um, I have another student whose name is Igor, and I thought it was you for a split second, but now I can see your picture. You're somebody different. Okay, I will I will be Igor T. <laughs> Igor T. Sounds good. Very good. Hello, is it Ida? Yes, it is Ida. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you today? Well, I'm pretty well. What about you? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. I think this is the first time I've had you in a class. Is that true? Yes, yes, yes. It's my, it's my first class with you, teacher. I have been awesome. in Berlin for two mo months, but it's my first class with you. Nice. Well, welcome to the class. Happy to have you. Where are you from? I'm from Spain. Wonderful. Very nice to meet you. Lots of new people today. And Ali Akbar. How are you today? Yes, hi, I'm fine. I'm doing fine. How are you? I'm doing very good. Thank you for asking. Happy to have you with us. Thank you. Hi, Marcia. Welcome. Hello, teacher. What's new? A short trip on this Sunday. Okay. Now, just to replay that, what you were asking by Facebook. Ah, yes. You went on your weekend trip. That's lovely. Yep. What, and Boyan, do you think Boyan will join us today? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. Nihan, good to see you again. How are you? Thank you, Abby. I'm doing great. How about you? Very good. Are you ready for the conversation class? Little. <laughs> I always love hearing your opinions. I'm looking forward to hearing your opinions today. Thank you, Abby. And Wash Tech. Wash Tech, is that your name? Yeah, yeah, it's Wojtek. It's Wojtek. Hey, how are you? I'm um, good, okay. Thank you, and how are you? I am doing very good. Where are you from? I'm from Poland. How do I pronounce your name again? It's Wojtek. It's Wojtek. Wojtek. Yeah. Wojtek. Yeah, Wojtek. Exactly. Yeah. Awesome, very good. And Zolzaya, are you there? Yes. Hey, how are you today? Today is exhausting. I had a lot, two two class and group meeting. Something like that. I miss students. Excellent. I think this is the first time I've had you in my class as well, right? Yes, yes, yes. It's my first time. Where are you from? I'm from Mongolia. Mongolia. Awesome. Thank Thank you for coming into my class. All these new students. I am completely surprised. I didn't think I would see so many new people. Ag, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hey, how's it going? Very good. Finally, I have some free time to join any classes, so I'm Wonderful. really happy. Oh, I'm happy to have you, too. Really good. Thank you for your support, everybody. Looking forward to a good conversation together. So I think that's it. Did I miss anybody? Oh, Lily. Yes. Hey, how are you, girl? I'm good, thank you. Nice, thank you for coming to the class. Where are you from? You're new to me? Yes, I'm from Quebec. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's fantastic. I'm from the other end of Canada. I'm from British Columbia. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful one. Were you born and raised in Quebec? or? Uh, no, I'm here in Quebec just since one year. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so what languages do you speak, Lily? Uh, French and Malagasy. I'm from Madagascar. Okay, awesome. Yeah. 
Very, very good. Thank you for coming to class, everybody. Any questions or comments before we get started with our questions for today? No more things like let's uh, before starting the class a warm up. Oh, the warm up <laughs> controversy. <laughs> some people want it, some people don't. Well, okay, Mircea, yeah, I get it. today because because today is all about conversation. We can just get right into it, and it's like a warm up because it's going to okay. be a question for each student, right? Okay. But we're going to be talking about animals and beauty. Now they seem very, very different. The reason for that is because it's in alphabetical order. But also, I thought it would be interesting to divide the class into two interesting topics so that we don't get bored of talking about the same thing. Is that okay with you guys? Yes. Yes. Okay. A little bit of variety, right? A little bit of variety never hurt anybody. Let me go ahead and put it in the chat box. You guys can open up the link. So we can see that we have a list of converse, uh, conversation questions that go through the alphabet. But like I said, we're going to focus on the first two conversations. So first of all, animals. Maybe we can start with Aga. What's your favorite animal, Aga? I think that my favorite is dog. Dogs. Why do you like dogs? Why do you choose that? Because um, they are true friends, in, and you can always rely on them, and they will always be there with you. Ah, oh, that's a good comment. I agree. Dogs are probably one of my favorite animals as well. What about you, Ida? Do you have any pets that live inside? your house? Yes. Oh. You so. do, Aga? You have pets in your house? Yes, I have a, a dog. <laughs> Very nice. What about Ada? Ada, what, what's your opinion on pets in the house? Do you like them inside or outside? Well, I love animals. Mm -hmm. so I have a dog, a, ba a black Labrador. Oh, nice. Uh, what? So you, I love animals. Very good. Anyone else like to share about the pets that they have? I have two cats uh, at my home and two additional cats uh, outside coming and going every time. <laughs> okay. So now actually, I have uh, four cats. You're the cat man. <laughs> uh, Generally speaking, it's my wife's cat, but uh, you know, I have a wife and she has a four cats. Very good. That's good. It's good to support. If you tell your wife she can't have cats, she would be very, very sad, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Hi, Jocelyn. Welcome to the class. Jocelyn, are you there? We'll give her a moment to set up her microphone. Okay, let's start with Nihan. Nihan, I want you to read the very first question under animals and give me your answer. Hmm. What role do animals play in law enforcement? Maybe it's common the dogs are uh, uh, using in the police stations uh, to find um, the the drugs and uh, uh, to find the narcotic uh, issues uh, to the maybe airport maybe some uh, some translations um, places uh, they can smell and find the, the drug absolutely so they're used for um, as police dogs, who can think of the breed, a very common breed that police officers use for things like this? Can anyone remember? Labrador, I think. Yeah. Is that what it is in your country, Votek? Is it yes. Labrador? Yes. Okay. Yes. We use it. We in our country we use a lot of German shepherds. German yeah. shepherds. Yeah, yes. that's what I, I was, was thinking too. I was military officer, frontier boards of Azerbaijan, and mm -hmm. we have borders with uh, Iran. It's a very complicated region, a lot of uh, drugs traffic and so on. And uh, usually we had huge support 
uh, of teams equipped uh, with dogs, German shepherds, specially trained, very smart. Uh, I always said that some of these dogs uh, are much smarter than some of my colleagues. <laughs> And yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel the same way. <laughs> yep. Interesting, Ali. That's fantastic. Now, what about the trainers for these dogs? What kind of qualities do you think makes a good dog trainer that will be used in law enforcement? Who can think of some qualities that people would need to have? Patient. Yeah, Ida, yeah. Patient. Patient. That's a good one. They need to be very patient. I, I, it's true. I, I believe that the most important quality for dog trainer, at least for, uh, I mean, for military dog, uh, dog trainer, it's kindness, first okay. of all. It's love for these dogs because uh, I saw a lot of uh, dogs dying during uh, actions. And, uh, during the training? You know, no, 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 in action. Um, in okay. action, yes, of course. And uh, it's very, as I said, it's very complicated region and normally guys with uh, 10 kilograms of heroin, they are not going to stop just because I have machine gun or uh, mm. there are 10 or 50, 20 of us. They understand that in Iran or in Azerbaijan, they will get uh, very huge uh, term in jail, so they fight to the end, and okay. uh, and and usually dogs get hurt first. Yes, I would imagine, and it's probably a lot easier for a human to hurt a dog rather than hurt a human, right? Yes, yeah. so we Not should understand it, and mm -hmm. dog trainers uh, should, first of all, they uh, have to love these dogs, <laughs> love, love okay. it first. They should value them, I guess. Yeah, yes, I agree course. with you, Nihan, for sure. Excellent. Any other um, comments that anyone would like to make? Jocelyn, can you hear us? Yes. Oh, I'm good. good. You're good now. We can hear you. <laughs> uh, I, I don't understand. Uh, I can't uh, uh, participate to uh, your uh, class because uh, I have uh, a compromium. A, a what? What do you I have a problem? problem. I have a problem. So to participate, uh, your okay. class. A little bit you, of French. I have. I have. A, yeah, it's a a French accent. I have a count uh, premium. Okay. Well, you are participating now, so it's all yes. good. Yes. Perfect. Glad to have you, Jocelyn. Let's go to the next question because it is related. Maybe we could get Votek to read the second question under animal. Uh, okay, could a Chihuahua be a police dog? Uh, I really don't think so. Why uh, not? <laughs> <laughs> their brains might be too small. I oh! <laughs> it's, it's, I, I think that it's closer to rat than a dog, actually. <laughs> I've heard that I don't <laughs> Sorry, it was a joke. I was just joking. Um, but I haven't seen any chihuahua as a police dog, so I think it's impossible. No, that's Could true. Could we use fancy dog for this kind of animal? You absolutely could. You could say it's a fancy breed. A fancy breed, breed. of dog. Mm -hmm. A chihuahua, right? And so... Uh, <laughs> actually, I think that any dog can be police dog, but not fighter. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I mean for uh, searching the, uh, for, for searching and finding drugs, because normally dogs uh, which are used uh, for this purpose, for searching and finding drugs, they shouldn't have uh, huge brain. They just uh, it's very sad, but in police stations, trainers make them drug addictives, and they just uh, search for this drug because they want it. <laughs> they love it. I so think maybe, that would oh, be... oh, oh. Sorry, what? no, go ahead. Yeah. Or maybe for a police officer in the skies, you know. Uh, <laughs> maybe <he's laughs> for example, as a celebrity or, or I don't know. Mm. 
Okay, thank you for sharing. special operations, yeah, it's possible. So who lives in a country where Chihuahuas are a very popular breed? Aga, are they popular where you live? I don't really think so. What breed do you see a lot of? What do you notice is a very popular dog that many people want? Um, I don't know the English name, <laughs> but uh, let's say that mostly I just see a big dog, like a black one. Yeah. I don't know uh, what's the name in English, but also, for example, I see a lot of uh, Yorkshire uh, Terriers mm -hmm. as well. Yes. Can I? Yeah, Mirce, Can I give ahead. an example? Mm -hmm. Our project manager, who is from United States, he liked it, and I think he was buying one Carpathian Shepherd dog, mm -hmm. which is originally from here and from Carpathian's area. Hello. Maybe our our. I think she's frozen connection yeah. issues. Yeah, I guess. Could anyone explain me the difference between the Yorkshire and, and the Chihuahua? Yeah, they, they look pretty the same. They are very no, small. they are different. Right. They have different colors of the skin. Okay. Yes, and the, and the hair, the, the Yorkshire. Okay, the Yorkshire is full. Hair. Okay. Long, long curly hair and the Chihuahua is hair. And they bark, they bark different dog languages. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Yorkshire is uh, a little, a little uh, dog, but with uh, uh, how to explain it? Big ear. And Welcome, AB. <laughs> hey, sorry about that one. Mirsha, go ahead and continue. What were you saying? I was saying that uh, the project manager, who is from the United States, he mm -hmm. liked it so much, Carpathian Shepherd dog, and he buy already one to have for himself. Excellent. So what is that breed used for? What is it normally used for? Uh, is it a companion dog or is it a working dog? What do you think? Companion, but also you can use it in case you are having sheep. Oh, okay, Take care of them. Very yeah. good, excellent. Okay, let's move on to our next question. Maybe we could have Ada I, or Ida read yeah. number number four. Do you want to read? Or sorry, number three. Uh, so animals wear clothes. Well, I don't know if they should wear clothes or not, but uh, the thing is that uh, at least in Spain, little. Uh, little breeds, people tend to to buy clothes and mm -hmm. and and put it to the animals. But in in my opinion, it, it is stupid. It's a stupid <laughs> thing. I agree. Yeah, that's what I think. Because uh, at least you, the dog is uh, very little, or it's a really really cool day that mm, it is going to to have cold in the street. It, it's stupid because mm, most of the cases. Uh, uh, the hair protects dogs uh, against the cold, so they don't need, they don't need, uh, they don't need clothes as we need. But in my opinion, it's just too big. But the truth is that these days, uh, uh, it's um, at least yes, at least in Spain, it's uh, buying clothes for for little dogs for, for little. I mean, it's, uh, it's 
cutting on it clearly. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. I think it can be a little I bit know silly. What your opinion. Yeah, but uh, here, Unless for example, in Canada, if you have a little dog like a Chihuahua in winter, he could it could be uh, it here is very cold in winter, so it's normal if in the winter there is snow, if a dog can have some wear something, but yeah. in summer it's not uh, useful. <laughs> is it practical or is it a fashion statement, right? That's what we yeah, need yeah. to discern. Marcia. I guess some oh. fancy breeds uh, is very cute when they are wearing something. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I'm agree with you. <laughs> very good. Okay, let's continue. Marcia, could you read the next one for us, Marcia? Yeah, just a second. If you had to be raised by animals in the wild, what animals would be the best parents? So we're talking about for you personally, Mirsha. What animal do you think could raise you the best? Maybe wolf or lions. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say a meerkat. Those little ones like this. <laughs> no, maybe... I should say also dolphins, but that means I will have to know quite well to swim because I like dolphins also. For okay. dolphins. What would um, Jocelyn? Oh, is Jocelyn gone? She's left us. What about yes. you, Igor? What animal would you choose? I think the monkey will be the best because we are so <laughs> close to uh, each other. And uh, we have uh, the same class uh, in uh, Darwin's uh, uh, theory. So I think uh, they will be the best parents uh, for a human being, maybe not just for me. Okay, we okay. have the same uh, the same the structure, the same structure of the hand, for example, and we mostly uh, doing the same thing. So I think there will be the best parents. Okay, good answer, Igor. Very good. Anyone else want to share a different opinion that they have? A different animal and why they think that would be the best one? I think I'll choose a bird. <laughs> a bird? Why would you choose that, Lily? Uh, because I would like to fly away, go away far from... <laughs> yeah, just go other uh, in another place. No problem. <laughs> I like it too. It's also nice. It's nice how a bird is raised, right? You're born in a little nest, and your mom she sits on top of you, yeah. and keeps you warm. And sometimes. But try to. But try to to see on that differently. We are always uh, uh, studying from the parents. If uh, in the, if your parents <laughs> will be the bird, I'm not sure you will fly. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's not your parents that make like that. So maybe monkey is closer for us. <laughs> Sometimes two animals in the wild will actually turn on their young. So to turn yeah, like on, a Mowgli story. Yeah. So when when an animal or when somebody turns on their young, it means they maybe attack them or kill them, right? You see that in the wild. You obviously don't want to be a, a baby of them, right? Okay, very good. Let's go to our next question. Kind of an interesting one. Can animals be gay? Who wants to answer that question? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Uh, I officially am out of this question. <laughs> yes, of course. I have seen a lot of times cat, uh, Tom cat, which is suffering because he uh, was born in male uh, body. What? Come on, people. Come on, why it's so important? Why, why, why it becomes so important? We we start even discuss gay animals. Is it possible at all? What does it yeah. mean, gay animals? Hey, <laughs> it's on the ESL well, conversation question, Ali. It's there actually, for us. Actually, there, actually, there are all, animals. First, that, first of all, this uh, is possible. I saw I saw uh, one cat uh, on my yard, and he was exactly gay. I <laughs> not one. No, it's not funny. It's, it's, it's a, 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 a 
I saw I saw him uh, uh, doing love with uh, with another kid. And for example, if you uh, go in, uh, uh, for example, bulls, and there are only um, uh, males uh, uh, in your, uh, you know, in your uh, domain, uh, they, uh, you know, they make sex uh, one each other. It, it's it's very it's very uh, common. They situation. might try, Igor. Yes. They might Right. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but what were you no, going to say? Uh, actually, there are animals that have relation with another male. Males that have relation with another male. For example, there are kind of uh, uh, lions uh, and what else? Uh, like I don't know the uh, giraffe. 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 Giraffe, okay, Giraffe. and and there is some kind of of monkeys. That it's the same with with all. They have relation with males and with with uh, females too, and it's weird. We are not okay. Uh... And every it's not an Abu uh, who is typing very hardly. <laughs> it's not a Abu uh, uh, as uh, the human beings nature. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, sorry about that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Nehan, I'm sorry. Can you continue? In, in, in the nature, uh, it's not a big taboo uh, as the human being's uh, life. Mm -hmm. uh, the animals uh, can be homosexual. Uh, some re researches are uh, written and uh, I read them. Uh, they can be uh, gay, uh, but it's not a big deal for, the, for them. Yeah, it's they a won't big deal for our. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's uh, it, it's a big uh, issue. It's a big taboo for our uh, bird. Human being bird. Issue, everybody. It's not actually anymore. It's okay. It seems that all world okay with this, with gay people, uh, and I don't th I don't think that it's big deal for us. If no. I agree no. with you. I agree with you, Ali. Maybe uh, personally, uh, it's not big deal, but in the world, uh, there is a, a, a I, problem for the homosexuals. No, you know? I think that I think that it's vice versa. Uh, personally, I can think whatever I want about these people, about maybe about heterosexuals, about homosexuals. It doesn't matter actually. It's my business, and if I don't share my opinion with anyone, I think that mm, nobody is going to ask me questions. But uh, in our society, it's uh, and it's not normal to discuss it in some mocking way. For example, uh, make some offending uh, remarks about those people mm. and so on. So it's uh, it's it it be, it, it became normal. For us, for all societies, normal society. Okay. okay. Very Day. good, you guys. We're gonna move to the next question, but I think you guys are all very respectful. We're all adults, right? So we can we can have a conversation like that without you know going beyond what is appropriate. So very good. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the next one. Let's see if I could get Ada. Ada, could you read the one after that? Mm, what are the pros and cons? Of owning a pet. Yeah, let's do that one. Okay, uh, I think there have um, owning a pet have lot of pros and lot of cons. The pros, uh, uh, there is no doubt that pet, pets can can give you lot of good good things like company, like trust, like. Um, Oh, well, loyalty, a lot of things, but at the same time, you have to be responsible to take care of them. To, to for example, if you if you have a dog, if you have a a um, a big dog, you have to to exercise it. So you mm -hmm. have to set time aside to 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 get it to exercise because well. You can have a pet in many different ways because the pet is not going to say you, oh, you have to do this or that. But mm -hmm. 
Uh, you you shouldn't neglect it. So you have mm -hmm. to make an effort. And for instance, I I have a dog, and every morning I have to get up early just to take him for a walk. Or even in winter, where it is really really cold, uh, I'm not on the mood of get, going to the street at 11 o'clock in the evening. And sometimes you have to make a an, a big effort, but then it will compensate uh, all of that. I I am sure. Good answer, Ada. I agree. It's important to take your responsibility seriously, right? What about you, yeah. Ada? What do you think about it? Do you think that um, you know the pros outweigh the cons, or what's your opinion? Yes. Well, it it depends from the person. But if someone is responsible and they know that they just have to do it and they don't take it as something extremely difficult. Mm -hmm. Then I think it's uh, that those um, bad sides are not that important, and uh, those pros are, you know, outweigh the um, the this negative side. Mm -hmm. The cons. And, yes, because they can give you such a lot of fun, and um, well, even if you are, for example, alone at home, and when you have a dog, then it's a different story, and you can always. Just um, play a little bit with this dog. So <laughs> never alone. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> what do you think, Lily? Uh, I think uh, the pros is that, as uh, I said, you're never alone with them, and uh, sometimes it's like they it's like they know that you have a trouble. They come to you and do something that's so cute. It's, uh, for example, I have two cats mm -hmm. and, and sometimes I'm feeling alone at home and then they come to me and just uh, have a hug or something like this. It's, it's like amazing for me. Yeah. That means that you're never alone, that something is there for you. And, and uh, that, But the cons is uh, it's, uh, it, it's not a big uh, responsible as a child, but it's not. It's uh, it's also uh, something to uh, that you have to care of. That's uh, very true. I agree yeah, with that. Yeah, and uh, it, it's it it can it can cost very uh, expensive if they fall sick and mm -hmm. something like this. Yeah. We might say the vet bills can get high, right? The vet bills can be very high. Good answer, Lily. Anything else you guys would like to add on that topic? Maybe if you yeah. have to go to hospital, uh, who is going to look after your pet? That's a, that's a con. Yeah. Uh, that's a con. Or your holiday, maybe. Mm -hmm. Always you're trying busy. to find, yeah. Mm. I agree. Anything else? I just I just know that my kid wake me up at five o'clock every day. So I don't know what <laughs> the, the pros and the cons. Uh, I'm really suffer from uh, their behavior. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Igor. We, your, we your, have... dog, your cat thinks it owns you. That's the problem. We okay. have a cat for fourteen years, and uh -huh. uh, I will. Never ever uh, will take any animals because uh, we got in situation the last year. My mother she got sick; it's blood cancer, and we are forced. To, she's forced to have uh, chemotherapy for this. And this year she got uh, blood cell um, stem cell transplantation wow. uh, procedure, wow. and she. Is uh, um, it's deprecated? It's forbidden to have any contact with animals for two years after this. So I I tried many times to get rid of this cat, but I can't do anything with it. I can't just uh, I don't know make her walk away to the street because she's not used to live on the streets. She lived in our house for 14 years, so I was forced to rent another uh, apartment. Just because I can't let her stay in the same apartment with my mother, it's very expensive, and I 
have enough problems, and this is the another one, but <laughs> this is the situation. Yeah. Ali, you are a good person. Uh, you are I a good Samaritan. What, 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 can, what I can do anything uh, uh, but this, because yes, she's a good person. She is part of our family. I have the I choice. I understand you. Mm. I love that, Ali. I think that's awesome. I imagine that's a huge but this, sacrifice, but that is yeah, really, really it's, kind. It's we need expensive. him at every other lesson. <laughs> we need him at our lesson. <laughs> awesome. Very good. Okay, let's move down awesome. to beauty. Teacher, beauty. can I ask? Can I ask you one? Or can I ask you ask the class a question of that I can. is related with pets? Of uh, course. How it's? Uh, how are pets accepted in your countries? I mean, people respect pets. You can go into a bar with a pet, or you can go into a hotel, or you can take a train. Because in Spain. Yeah. At least this day we are having a big problems. If you have a pet, if you have a dog, for example, it is quite difficult to do a lot of things. But I yeah. have to train so a lot of things because mm, pets are not admitted in most of the places. I know I don't know if in your country happens the same thing. Who would like to answer? In our country, you can travel with your uh, pets. Uh, there is a, a special conditions uh, for them, but you cannot allow to enter a bar or a restaurant with your pet. The same in our country. Mm -hmm. And in Canada? in Canada, in Canada, you cannot take your pets inside of any public place unless yeah. it's a dedicated, like a dog park or a pet friendly hotel. It's very difficult to find, but I live in the Dominican Republic, so here I take my dogs everywhere I go and nobody says anything. So yeah, it's, it's really. Here, work. some park not allowed for uh, an animal, some mm -hmm. park is, yes. It's the outside time. it's allowed, but it, uh, the inside, like a restaurant or that kind no. of. No, uh, yeah. or lots, in, uh, in Israel, it doesn't prohibit it. Prohibited, but uh, people usually don't take uh, their dogs. Maybe some uh, restaurant in Tel Aviv, but I didn't see any mu uh, too much uh, people taking their dog to to a restaurant or the pu or to the public places. <laughs> but it Maybe doesn't uh, prohibit. Dedicate. Not mine. Uh, good Maybe. answers. Very good answers. It is so unfair because, well, it's not comparable, but uh, some, sometimes uh, children misbehave more than, than a pet can do. So mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't understand what is the point of, uh, um, prov uh, of, don of ban the dogs going to no a lot of places. Even in in beach, for example, in Spain, you can take your dog to a beach. So it's just stupid. A beach, it's, it's an outdoor yeah. place. Why you can't take to the beach? I agree. I agree with that. I think it's a little bit to the extreme where you're you're not allowed to take them anywhere, and then the other extreme is in like the Dominican Republic. There can be dogs anywhere, and sometimes it's not appropriate to have animals, right? So I agree with you, Ada. It's not really fair, is it? Okay, let's continue. Let's talk about beauty. There's a lot of interesting questions here, so let's try and get started here. Uh, let's start with the first one. The first one. Maybe we could have uh, Votek. Could you read that for us? One more. Okay, now. Um, if you could change one thing about your appearance, appearance uh, what would it be? Um, Oh my god, I don't know. <laughs> so You're just so good looking, you wouldn't want to change anything. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. It's a tough one. Oh. Um, he is a real man. Uh, <laughs> no, who will actually things. answer yeah. this question? He is satisfied uh, as he looks. It's okay. I can answer. I can answer oh, this question. Ali is going to be the brave one. Good. Yes. What are you going to say, Ali? Yeah, I wouldn't change anything. Not because 
not because I'm uh, ideal man. I'm so far away from ideal man and my appearance, yeah. but how can I explain it? Okay, I know. Turn uh, off your my... camera and... <laughs> no, no. <laughs> My, my, no, no, my, 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 my neighbor, he has this garage for three cars, but usually he has only bicycle in this garage. So this is what I think about appearance. It's not important. It's not important. His garage, it looks very huge, very beautiful, but only bicycle. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and I think that Maybe. for human beings... I think yeah. appearance is important, but you don't have to change it. You you have to stay yourself. Mm. I'm I'm used and to this uh, that, image uh, in the mirror. Yeah, it's important. Just only if you take care of it, not for changing it. Excellent. I, I don't Good know answers. if you understand what I mean. I agree. Um, Lily, why don't you read number two? Okay. Number two, what do you find most attractive in people of the opposite sex? Uh, would you like a, a repeat it? Or? Yeah, give us your okay. answer. What do you find most attractive in people on the opposite sex? Oh, it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Give a politically correct question. Give a politically correct answer or like a real man? I want to know what you really think, but I want you to keep it appropriate because there's yeah. people Eyes, eyes, <laughs> only eyes. <laughs> only yeah. voice. Only right. eyes. Voice. Voice. If, That's yeah, if the man's voice is not very um, attractive, it doesn't matter how handsome he is. <laughs> In yeah, my he's guess. got a really annoying voice. Yeah. <laughs> can so can you imagine a handsome uh, man and voice? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so good. The question is how much money does it have? Oh, oh come on! That is not <laughs> no. I, I have, no, guys, I have, be realistic. No. I, I have enough money to to, uh, to, buy, uh, to buy everything because I'm working. It doesn't matter how many uh, how rich he is. Good. Answer. Maybe it, may, it's maybe it's very bad uh, to be um, rich very um, rich uh, because the, I uh, I believe he's, he's, not it. Me, he's not uh, uh, how to say that. Maybe he is rich, but he's mean with people. That's yeah, a good thing. But, but it's he's rich. <laughs> but he's and rich. That's not. That's not. It's a not good, important. Yeah, because he's still rich. <laughs> 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 uh, okay. I guess being okay. very rich is uh, not very good because I believe the balance. If I I I don't uh, date uh, with the very rich persons, I don't like. I like my EQ uh, because uh, he want to go, he want to live in a penthouse or that kind of things. But I don't like that kind of things. I like you, must be, you must be more tolerant. Uh, tolerant, you know. Rich people can be very nice, I think. <laughs> I some of them. Some I, of them. Yeah. Depends by their level of knowledge, how they can treat you, so not to make you to feel. Like a garbage or so uncomfortable or so stupid. Okay, okay does what, anyone what else is, want what to is, talk about? What is description of rich? What do you mean? Describe. What but is the, rich? But the, the question, the question. <laughs> <laughs> attractive. What do you find attractive? Sorry, I'm sorry. What do you find? So Igor says he likes a rich woman, right? <laughs> no, he didn't. He said that I like eyes. That's all. He yeah. likes eyes. That's important to him. Yeah. What about you, Ida? What's important to you? Mm, well, I, I, for me, it's not important. Just one thing is when I like a man. Is I, I don't know what it is. Like the combination of all that mm, things that I can, I can identify a lot of times what it, what exactly it is. Mm -hmm. It's like the combination that oh, that I like that man. I don't know why exactly, but it's. 
I don't know. This usually uh, happens to me. Usually, that. I think it's his kindness. His kindness, or very charming. nice. Charming. If he's a charming person. Marcia, what do you like about girls, not what you think about boys? What do you like find attractive about the opposite <laughs> sex? Uh, the eyes, first of all. <laughs> the way how she Don't speaks. Say what do you I think? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I mean, yeah. all you guys uh, will like. <laughs> I mean, money, money, right, money. Not always money. A lady with lots of money cannot be the same charming as one as a medium level of richness, if I can say. Mm -hmm. okay. Even poor ladies can be more charming than a rich one. Depends on lots of things. What about you, Aga? What's your opinion? Yes, first of all, I want to say that um, even though there are such stereotypes, we are not like that, that we just uh, find the most attractive that uh, when boy men are rich. That's not true. And then for us, I agree, I, I'm sorry, I don't remember who said it, but um, one person said that um, a combination of has she, has she just frozen? <laughs> Abby? She's gone. Hey. But Abby, it's okay. Let's see. Let's talk about that. Okay. You can continue your idea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, so I will say that uh, as one person said, as I don't remember the name, that the combination of everything and this all um, makes, you know, what kind um, of combination exactly? Charming, smart, beautiful, not yeah, an like asshole, maybe. Yes, exactly. Not rich. Okay. okay. <laughs> You're I, expecting I have, much. <laughs> people, I have it's, one question. Why yeah. people find each other uh, beautiful, passionate, smart, and funny uh, when they just met each, meet each other? Uh, maybe feel more passion uh, to another person, but uh, personally speaking, I am married for uh, a long time, and I uh, like my wife uh, as we were met uh, uh, a long time ago. So it it, uh, it depends on people. Yeah, it depends on people and patients. I guess because as another human, example, human beings are polygamists. Uh, I guess because when wow. oh. <laughs> what's going on in here? I leave for five minutes, five seconds, and Mirsha is muting people. Mirsha. No, I was muting <laughs> Nihan, and I will apologize because I was thinking that. Unpleasant noise came from her side. No, oh, okay. never. So I apologize. <laughs> I have. I heard the noise. Uh, very, very big noise. Uh, uh, sorry. Okay, let's get going. Aga, I'm really sorry. I cut you off. Did you Did you already get to share your comment with the class? Yeah. <laughs> <Her, Did> they... <laughs> okay. Is that what you guys are talking about now? No. I'll have to go back and watch the recording. You are talking about other issues. Uh, okay. Alice uh, asked uh, a question uh, just uh, why somebody uh, love uh, to a woman or man and then get married and get bored. Why is it uh, so uh, sh short? Just Ali asked the question. Yes, why everything has changed after five, six year marriage, or maybe five, three six years. year long uh, year? <laughs> yes, maybe five months. 
Yes, maybe even in five days. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on the person. <laughs> I think it sounds like you guys need to spice things up a little bit if you're bored after five months. <laughs> yes, it's time, it, time to add some spice into that marriage. Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm. Let, because we have eleven minutes left, I thought I would open it up to the class. Now in that in that section of beauty conversation questions, each of you I want you to choose the one that you would like to discuss. So who would like to go first? Who has a question in that list that interests them that they would like to pose to the class? Mm. Take your time and read it and tell me what you think. Maybe about the fashion for past? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and read it. Funny. <laughs> In Poland, there are a lot of people who wear white socks with sandals, you know? <laughs> yeah. Why do you think that's a faux pas? Uh, I don't know. Uh, you don't think it's a faux pas? I don't know. It, it, it's, it looks strange, I think. No? I agree. Uh, I don't yeah. think sandals were made to have socks worn with them, right? Yeah. Exactly. But then, what do you think, um, Votek? Now they have socks that actually have a split between your big toe and the rest of your toes. Oh, it's... So you can wear them with sandals. Oh, really? You're a specialist. <laughs> oh, I, I don't have so much knowledge about it. Sorry. But, uh, <laughs> it's, it's socks with, with, with what? With separate fingers? Yeah? Yes, yes, exactly. Like in like... Japan, the women wear socks with their sandals. Like gloves for legs. Oh my god. Who can think of another fashion faux pas besides socks with sandals? That's a pretty good one. Who can think of another one? Mm. No? Okay, let's move on to the next one. Who has another question they'd like to to um, bring up? I like the one. Uh, some airlines and restaurants seems to only hire attractive people. Is this discrimination? Should it be legal? Oh. oh. Let's discuss that. That's an excellent one. Thank you, Aida. What's your opinion, Aida? Well, in my opinion, um, the physical appearance is um, is very important, and it shouldn't be. But the 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 reality is that it's very important in order to to apply or to succeed in some in some jobs, because in the in jobs that you are <clears throat> that you need to treat with with the public, with the people, uh, most more most of the employers are looking for for some concrete physical appearance and that's the truth mm -hmm. and that it is be. well unfair but it's the truth it shouldn't be like that because, Mircea, hmm? yeah. Mircea, let's say that you own a restaurant okay do you think that this mentality might affect you as you're hiring people do you think you would try to um, filter through and have attractive people working in your restaurant um, not really attractive, but uh, I think the main idea is to have people who, with who I can work or as a team, so to not have any misunderstanding re regarding their payments, monthly payments, and to be sure that for some events or some special events I will have enough staff to cover the required person to serve the people mm -hmm. for, for example for some weddings or any kind of official uh, meetings so I will try to create a good relationship with the employers Okay, that's a good 
Good answer. Now, what do you, what about the difference between actually being maybe a, an exceptionally good-looking person or somebody who's very clean, they take good care of themselves? Do you think that's important to maybe single out people who are clean yes. and well in appearance? What do you think, Nihan? I guess uh, if I were an employer, I prefer uh, to choose uh, the good-looking, attractive people but uh, it's very important the same features, the same quality. Uh, if you uh, if you uh, have uh, two people with the same quality, with the same education or that kind of, but one of them is more attractive. If and uh, and if I were running a restaurant or an airline or that kind of job, I prefer to choose the attractive one. Mm. But yes, I would like not, to. not only the uh, attractive one uh, who is not smart or uneducated, uh, it's not important, but um, it's very uh, important to be, um, how can I say, well kept or. Uh, mm. to, well kept. Uh, to, yeah, uh, it's very important, uh, more important than the attractive. Uh, 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 choices because uh, when you are uh, um, uh, good, uh, take care of yourself uh, well uh, it could be attractive anywhere not in the job only uh, mm -hmm. everywhere you can be uh, more exact acceptable uh, around people it's important to be attractive or well kept but not only uh, reason that I choose kind of employee. Okay, very good. Anyone else and want to comment on that? Another one, uh, I would like also to work with people who can be well organized. Okay. So, I think that's so also So, the question person. is, some airlines or restaurants only hire who they consider to be attractive. That was Aida's question. Who has an opinion on that it's, question? It's, I, I think that, I, yeah. Discriminating okay, in a way. Go ahead. I think you that know, there's it's, a... Oh, okay. wait. Okay, wait, wait. Okay. We're going to hear from Votek first, and then I want to hear from Ali. Okay? So, Votek, <laughs> just, go ahead. Just, just a little joke. I think that there are some websites who, <laughs> who has the same policy, I think. I'm pretty t pretty new to verbling, but I noticed that <laughs> that uh, teachers are also... Uh, uh, don't take it personally, Abby, please, but uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. <laughs> Looking from pretty they people. They are beautiful. They are beautiful. <laughs> the verbal teachers, teachers are good looking. Yeah, male yes. and female. <laughs> they are both pre pretty attractive, I think. I, I'm I'm not a uh, specialist on 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 on, on men's, but but I think that they are pretty attractive teachers on verbling. Yeah. I am Girls, highly say offended. Something about it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but, Ali. I, I have one comment. I think that okay. it all depends on business you run. For example, uh, I hired about eight people during last year and this year. Yes, in 15 months, I hired eight people, and okay. um, there were a lot of uh, very beautiful girls, very beautiful women. But unfortunately, in my business, if this beautiful girl will start to dance in the middle of server room, I don't know, I'm not sure that servers and network equipment will do what's supposed to do just because she's beautiful. <laughs> yes. That's true. So, That's true. so this is my curse and <laughs> I am boss, but I, <laughs> I'm forced to hire only qualified people, engineers, Microsoft Good. people, Cisco people, and so on. And I, I have no another choice. But if you run a restaurant, for example, you can train in two weeks or in one month any mm -hmm. person, beautiful or not. And in that case, I think that I would prefer to have only beautiful women. Okay, so depending on the profession. That's good. I mean, I like your honest answers. That makes good sense. Mm -hmm. Excellent work, you guys. I'm going to start my next hour, so I just want to wrap it up. Are there any final questions or comments? How do you guys feel about an open conversation class like this? Does it appeal to you? Are you interested in coming back to continue a conversation? It's what awesome for me. Very it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. It's I love it. That's Thank good. I will continue to plan classes like
this. Thank you guys so much. You guys were awesome. A lot of you are new. I appreciate it, and I hope to see you again soon, okay?